In the last video, we added simple toolbox items. So the elements or nodes, whatever you might call them. So we added static text, an edit control, another static text, and a date time field or date time picker. Now let's say we want to actually add customization or we want to be able to get the data from this information right here. So we want to be able to get the data from the date time and we also want to be able to get the data from the user ID. To do this, the best way to do that is to actually select your element and then scroll on down in your properties and then find where it says ID. By default, it's called IDC. Do not double click this field. It will swap it for you into something you don't want or a name or a default functionality that Visual Studio and the MFC have defaulted and will randomize for some odd reason. That's just Visual Studio. Instead, what you'll want to do is click on ID and then highlight it and change it. So for a text field, a common practice is to say TXT and then what it is you're grabbing. So in this example, it will be TXT user ID. And then for the date time picker, we would do D DTP and then date. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure it still works. Okay, the application is still working good. Next, what we'll want to do is we'll want to add some functionality. So the cancel button, I'm going to leave as the default functionality. By default, you always want to have like a close button, usually. So instead of adding a custom ID, since it's already got custom functionality set to the ID cancel, I'm simply going to just change the caption from cancel to close. Next, what I'm going to do is for the OK button, I'm going to create something like process or go or function or run. So run sounds good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and change the ID from run to ID OK to BTN run. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to run it again to see what changes have been affected. I can still type inside. I can still change the date. Now if I click run, nothing happens because I changed the ID and there's no functionality attached to it at the moment. However, if I click close, the application still closes. So to add functionality to the run button, and I'm actually not going to show code, I'm just going to show you where you can apply code to. If you double click the run button, it will open up the .cpp. And here we have the MFC application one dialog.cpp. So this applic or this file right here. And then our code, so when we call something, is going to actually come into here. So every time you or I should say, there are multiple ways you can do this. A simple way, it's a little bit of a long process to do, but a simple version of this, like cookie cutter code, is to declare your all your variables in here, pull all your data in read from the dialog boxes and then set to the dialog boxes so thanks for watching and uh, have fun building an MFC in an outdated environment that does not need this anymore good luck